Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, let's talk about Shad CN UI. It's a React component library. Let's dig right in. All right, so if you haven't seen this before, here's a brief rundown of kind of what Shad CN UI gives us. This is basically their documentation website where it shows what it's capable of. It's very elegantly designed and just easy on the eye. So they've got all different types of things that you can pick from and choose from. One thing to note is that these components actually are more like a copy and paste than pulling in as like a NPM package. Typically with an NPM package, you would add it to your package.json, it would get pulled in under your packages, and then you would import it that way. However, with Shad CN UI, when you actually add these components, so take this accordion for example, you're actually going to add the accordion and it's going to copy this into a directory and then you can make whatever changes you want. One thing you should know is that a lot of these components are built on top of other libraries. Shad CN has basically taken the best libraries and pulled them in component by component. So for example, accordion is built on top of Radix UI and command is built on top of CMDK. All right, so here we have a blank Laravel project. Literally the only thing that's been done is just a composer create and this is the blank project. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this project, we're gonna install Breeze, and then we're gonna add Shad CN UI to this and then add a couple components. Okay, so for this, we're gonna use Breeze and we're just gonna install Breeze. So composer require Laravel Breeze dash dash dev because it's a dev dependency. The next thing we need to do is actually run the install command for Breeze and React. So Shad CN UI is only for React, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell Breeze install for React and then use TypeScript. So Shad CN UI uses TypeScript, so we're gonna use TypeScript in this. I think there is an option for not using TypeScript, but they recommend using TypeScript, so we're gonna say, hey Breeze, install React with TypeScript. This is going to give us a stack with Inertia, React, and then ultimately Vite and TypeScript. Next, we need to initialize Shad CN, and this is going to ask us a series of questions that we need to answer about our project, and it's going to write a components.json. So let's get the process started. Are we gonna use TypeScript? Yes, that's the one that we use when we installed Breeze with React. I'm gonna use New York as the style. You can use the default or New York. I think they both look great. The base color for us is going to be slate. And we need to basically say where this global CSS file of our project exists. And so let's go take a look at where this is right now. So we need to tell Shad CN where our app CSS is, and that's gonna be in resources, CSS, app CSS. So resources, CSS app.css. And we have a choice as whether or not we can use CSS available for colors. And that basically means, do we want to have primary, secondary as colors? You know, typically Tailwind CSS doesn't have that, but they will generate stuff like this for you as like a default, which I think is kind of handy. So I'm gonna say yes. Our Tailwind config is located in the root folder. So we can just hit enter here and this is going to be where to configure the components that should live. And so we're gonna say at, and at is just going to be a alias for the resources JS directory. So we're just gonna say at shad cn. I like to have these components in a different directory than kind of mixed in with all of my components together. So we're just gonna say at slash shad cn. And then in here, we're also gonna do at shad cn. 
this is a utils function and it's required they call to this utils functions um, in order to, in order to do various things in their components we're not using react server components so i'm going to say no and then we are going to write this component.json so every time we add a component from shad it's going to refer to this component components.json in order to um, you know when it pulls in the code So the thing about Shad CN when you're doing this is it's actually going to overwrite the Tailwind config file. We need to make some changes to the Tailwind config file now because we need to tell Tailwind, hey, this is where we can find all of the TSX files. Otherwise our project will look funky. So if we look at our Tailwind config right now, it's got all of this stuff in here that we don't really need. If we run our build server, so npm run dev, this is starting Vite. And if we go back, we can see that the project doesn't look right. It doesn't appear to be taking the styles and that's because we need to basically tell it that this is where you find the TSX files for our project. So we're gonna remove that and then we're gonna tell it this is where to find our files. It's in resources, JS and then any TSX files you see there. So if we save this and go back to our project, it's back to normal. So now ShadCN is installed, we can actually begin using it. So let's look at the, the web. And then this is the kind of welcome page. We're just gonna take over the welcome page. All right, let's take over this welcome page and just make some updates. So we're gonna delete some stuff that we don't need. So let's start with just a simple H1 tag just to make sure everything looks good. Looks like we've got our hello and it's dead center on the page. So now that we've got a super basic, you know, welcome page, let's actually add a component because if you notice on the left, we've got the shad CN folder, but it's blank. So let's go find a component that we're going to add into our project. Let's add this alert dialog. So in order to add a component, they give us a button to copy this stuff, so I'm just gonna choose NPM. All right, so we're gonna take the copy and paste and we're gonna put it in here, and it's just gonna be the alert dialog. Let's check out where it actually installed that. So it's gonna install it in the Shad CN. Notice that we've got some stuff here. Notice that these are here in our project where we can make any kind of changes that we want. This is not pulling in a library, uh, you know, and then using it in your project. This is, you know, it's actually creating these components in your project and then you use those components in your project. So we've got the alert dialog and then the button because in their example, their example actually uses the button to trigger and then it kind of defines what's happening down here. So we're gonna take this code, copy this. Okay, now that we've pasted this in here and we've imported our dependencies, we've got our dependencies listed here if we go and refresh our project page, we should have this now. Notice we've got the button. And when we click it, it opens up the modal. It's literally that easy. Um, and it looks nice and you can customize it completely how you want without being tethered, you know, to some specific way of doing things. Let's add in one more command, for example. We first need to add the command via the mpx command. We'll see a new file show up called command.tsx. That's great. Let's take their simple example down below and put it in our project. We've got this in our project. We've imported the dependencies. Now let's take a look at what our front end looks like. And as you can see, we've got this nice kind of command where we can do things if it was all hooked up. Using Shad CN in Laravel, as you can see, is you know pretty easy. I like to call it LaraShad. I'm going to have a link in the description for a repository that if you want to clone and get started, it's gonna be super simple to get started. Everything will already be set up. So look for that down below. 
Drop a comment below on how you're going to use Shad in your project or what you plan on building with Shad. It'd be really awesome to hear from people as to what they're going to build. If you enjoyed this content or this content was helpful for you, feel free to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because it'll notify you when I post more videos.